Poet begins what is expected to be a busy final few months of 2025 with an appearance at the China International Optoelectronic Expo. CIOE takes place September 10th to 12th in Shenzhen, and among the company's representatives will be Chief Revenue Officer Raju Kankapati. Raju, what are you hoping to achieve at this year's convention? Thanks, Adrian. Uh, for the CIOE show this year, our goal is to achieve three things. One, we will be building on the momentum that we've been creating throughout this year by introducing our cutting edge optical engines and external light sources to an industry that's looking for scalable and cost efficient solutions for AI connectivity and networking. The second objective, the test results of our 1.60 engines have been outstanding. The feedback from customers is constantly reinforcing our belief in the commercial appeal of our optical interposer based products. Customers can see live demonstration of our 1.60 production ready engines at the show. The third objective, we will be meeting and updating our existing customers and meet potential new customers and partners to update them on our progress of our operations. We are hiring the required talent and resources in Malaysia, where our manufacturing facility is getting ready to ramp. So we are all set up now and ready to fulfill mass production orders. I expect our updates uh, to be met with a lot of enthusiasm next week at CIOE. And Poet will showcase a number of products uh, at the show, including Poet Terralite, the 1.6T transmit and receive line of optical engines. How excited do you think the industry is to learn about those engines? Right, the deployment of 1.60 pluggable transceivers in the AI and data center networks will start to ramp soon. So Poet has optical engine solutions for DR8 and 2xFR4 applications. As I mentioned, the performance of these engines has been outstanding, which customers can see live uh, next week at uh, the show. So one of the cornerstones of Poet's solution is that it can enable a single module design for both DR8 and 2xFR4. This saves a lot of engineering and manufacturing resources for module companies and accelerates their time to market. The other major reason for customer excitement is the simplicity of the module design using our engines. It's just two semiconductor type of chips that cover the entire optoelectronic part of the module design. The POET engines are attached on the board, provide RF connection on one side and provide or attach the FAU or the fibers on the other side. This is probably the simplest design of 1.60 modules that anyone in the industry can offer. And that's, that's amazing news. And the other intriguing product is Poet Blazar. What can you say about its progress and what will be revealed about it at CIOE? The other major advancement in the AI networking that will have a significant positive impact on the optical industry is the scale up network. So this is when connections migrate from copper to optics. So several startups are working on low cost, high density chip to chip optical communication. So there is one common element to all these designs. They need high power external light sources to power up the modulators. The demand for these external light sources will be massive, but there are two major challenges for the industry, higher output power and lower cost. Poet Blazar, which we introduced at OFC earlier this year, is an external cavity high power light source which doesn't require a traditional DFB. Instead, we use a simple gain chip or an optical amplifier chip and take care of the wavelength selection on our interposer. So this offers significant cost reduction and a dramatic improvement to the overall reliability of the light source. So for the first time, we will be doing a public live demonstration of this technology at CIOE next week. So customers can see the wavelength stability across the spectrum and the high output power of over 19 dBm per channel. So this is super exciting for us. And this can be a significant product for Poet uh, for the external light source market going forward. That's fantastic news, Raju. Can't wait to hear more about how the reactions are and even see some images from the show next week. Thank you again. You have a great expo and look forward to our next discussion. Definitely, yeah. Thanks, Adrian.